Aaron. Yeah, Jason brought me to a dinner with like 20 of the top viners, like top of the top. And I just moved out to LA for like three weeks ago. I was like, how the fuck did I get here? No, the first time we properly interacted was the Chateau. Uh, but I remember that fucking vine party too, the niche one. Bro, that was fucking crazy. There was a big vine logo on the wall, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was big green vine. Logo. It was like the biggest fucking viners. It was crazy being around viners at the time. Right. Like when Vine it's was like pop, TikTokers now. yeah, but when Vine, but it was different. It was like um, it was the first of its kind. It was the first of its kind. Being around big Viners was like I remember once we went to Casey James' house and Rudy Mancuso was there or something, mm -hmm. and I remember Alex and I went to the bathroom and we were just like, "Wow, this is fucking crazy! <laughs> this is fucking crazy!" Yeah. Um, and that was that was really bizarre. Addison told me Addison Ray told me a really funny story. She said the first time we came over, it was her and Dixie, um, and she told me she's like, "We came over." And we just like got back from like hanging out. Like we met up, we met up with them at like Saddle Ranch. This was like nine or ten months ago. She said they came over and they went to go use my bathroom, both of them. And they said right when they closed the bathroom door, they just started fucking freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so funny because like that's exactly like what I was doing like with all the other viners. Right. And then and then yeah, and then they just like become a regular part of it. Like that's the best part about this place is like you fangirl over all these people and then you just become their fucking friends. It's like so cool. <laughs> The the one thing I'll say about Joe though, and I think it's a good lesson for anybody, is like he, if you want to like, I don't know, you always you were always like were really helpful, you know, you're a very value added kind of guy. You always I, brought more than you took. I give everything and I expect nothing. Yeah, and that's a good Ooh. way to be. Yeah, that's deep. That's really, really good. good way to be. Yeah, I give everything and I, remember, I expect nothing. I remember <laughs> when David started to like you. I was like, oh God, thank God. And when when did we first worked together, Jay. I remember. I know how I met you at the comedy you club. You remember the comedy club? But you, I said, you said, you want to come by tomorrow and do this bit? Went in. I, I showed up at your apartment. Alex was there, who I loved. Alex was so funny, and I was like... But I remember for a time when we were filming, people thought you were replacing Alex. Uh, yes. And Alex was in the videos less, and you were in the videos a lot more. Remember how hard it was for people to like you? <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, you told me that you used to delete comments. Yeah, I used yeah. to delete comments so you wouldn't see them. I'm and, saying and, this now because people love you now, but I'm just saying people took a long time to warm up to you just because he was old. I'm they sure. were like, they were like, I don't like this. Like, like he's old, and you guys are young, and yeah. like and people are just confused by it. But then like people like finally started to realize that you were like the funniest out of the group, and then they're like, okay, okay, he can stay. Um, I didn't, I didn't read the comments. Luckily, I was too old to know where to find the comments. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would, I would delete them because because people just weren't getting it. Um, Thank you, David. Thank you for standing by me. That's that's pretty amazing.